Welcome to the Grok Shop. In this video, I'll be talking about iOS devices of the modern ilk that charge with lightning cables that fail to charge when you plug the charger in and you get a screen that looks just like this. So first of all, I recommend that you check out Apple's website on this issue. Um, I'll put a link to this below. Um, and there's one little section in here in particular that deals with this problem that I'm going to talk about and make sure that um, you read this in detail um, but the, the takeaway is the uh, the jack on the device where you connect the charging cable should be very clean and also the cable should not be damaged and everything's plugged in securely I actually saw a video on YouTube, some guy was pulling out uh, pocket fuzz out of his iPhone from the jack and uh, that seemed to solve it for him. But in this case, uh, I'm going to be talking about where your jack's clean and your charging cable appears to otherwise be fine as well as the adapter. So if you see this problem, immediately try another charging cable and I'm going to show why that might be the case. Here's the pinout from the... Um, Wikipedia article on lightning adapters. If you notice pin 5 is the power uh, for these adapters. So on the left here I have the original lightning cable that came with this iPad which my daughter uses. I never really use it. Um, and the all the metal, the big fat metal that goes um, to the plastic, that's all the ground. And all you have to do is basically find pin 5 and touch it and you'll see here actually it's not showing uh, hardly anything it might have 0.1 or 0.2 volts but usually um, it just shows zero and on the right here I have a new cable and I'll show how it should look when you touch pin 5 you'll see 5 5.1 5.2 volts that's um, the normal USB voltage um, and then here again no volts on the old cable Note these cables are reversible. I could do the same thing on the other side, and which I did, and just to make sure it's not oxidation on this one pin or something. Uh, but the takeaway here is, without any voltage on the on the pin five on this lightning cable, it certainly is not going to charge your device. So here you'll see when I plug in the uh, the new cable, I don't get the little lightning bolt next to the home button. And then here again with the old cable, um, you'll see the little lightning bolt with the lightning uh, cable in. Just it stays present as if it's telling you, hey, I still need to charge here. So as long as you see that, you know it's you're never going to charge. And then when it looks like this, you're definitely charging. So how does this happen? Um, well, I mean, if your kid's four or five years old, um, they probably haven't figured out yet to not pull on the cable part. Instead, of course, you should always pull on the uh, hard connector part so you're not pulling the cable loose. You see the ring here where it used to be um, uh, all that's about a millimeter or two that has pulled loose and that and when you're dealing with these cables that's really all you need to um to break the connection inside so good luck teaching the kids how not to pull on cables the new cable i'm using is made by anchor and it's about 17 or 18 bucks i think and much better quality than the stock cable um i would recommend it and i'll put a link to it below for you so that's how it's done thanks for watching guys